All right, first and right. foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakaq Wadash. The honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone who were well and who was worthy to be counted for the honors. And peace out, taste to you brothers out there pushing the truth wholeheartedly and sincerely and for the love of the gospel. All right, it's the brothers from the Indiana camp, Gary, Indiana camp. Come back at you again with another camp video to preach the downfall of America and to wake up the 12 tribes of Israel, you know, which is uh, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Descent, man. All right, to let to let them know that they are the true uh, 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 Hebrew Israelites, man, and not them fake Jew gutter rats over there, man. All right. So whatever you brothers got. There's some there. Um. Yeah, man. I wanted to go into an article I read. I mean, let me find it real quick. Because uh, <clears throat> they are about to nick. They're about to announce, man, the 5G. Um, uh, speed, uh, uh, the 5G uh, speed, LTE. Uh, LTE, 5G speed, okay? And I was listening to uh, on a the, on the news uh, channel, I was in my car, I didn't get the uh, full, uh, I didn't get to hear it all, but I wanted to go into it, so I'm gonna I'm pull the article up, man. But it was saying in so many words, man, when they go to that 5G speed, man, that that's gonna uh, really interrupt a lot, of, uh, a lot of things that's going on. Matter of fact, just like the Elder Apostle, uh, Dean this year, man, is, is uh, implication of the chip, man. That's gonna be part of it. Okay. All right. I'm gonna. You got something, son? I'm gonna pull this article up real quick. Uh. Okay, this is uh Isaiah 54 verse 16. Behold. Hey, uh, did you get Second Ezra 16? Wow. Wow. Real quick. Second Ezra 16. You say uh, my, uh, my arrow. These arrows are sharp, like 10. It says, Isaiah 54, verse 16. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the, in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. Who right. is this I? You know, it says, I have did this. I have, and we read all the all through the prophets, all through the uh, through the book of the Bible, man. It says the word of the Lord came into me saying, all right? You got to pay attention to every word, man. The word of the Lord came into me saying. So when, the, when it said I did all of these things, the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai created the smith to blow the coals in the fire. I have created the waster to destroy. Who is the waster? Esau. You got it? I got something. Oh, you got This ahead. is Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 25. The Lord hath opened his armory and have brought forth the weapon of his indignation for this is the work of the Lord's host. The, the, this is for this is the work of the Lord God of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. God, this is the work of the Lord, man. Because hey, when the Lord, hey, the Lord said since the beginning, but I have, I have declared the end since the beginning. So the Lord thought all of these things through. You know, the Lord thought about the end before He made anything. You know. Oh, you got second out sixteen. It's a uh, seven. It's, uh, seven? Yes. Second Ezra chapter 16 verse 13, it says, For for strong is the right hand that beneath the bow. It says, His arrows that are shot sh are, sh are shot shot as sharp. Who bend the bow? The Lord uses these other nations to bend the bow, man. I mean uh -huh. he's using the hands of these heathens, but who's really doing it? The Yahweh Shimmy Al shot, because this is all his fruition, man. The Lord said, I have purpose, then who shall disannul it? Alright, this is the Lord's purpose. The Lord's purpose is for the evil that song to be turned upside down, man, so he can play a righteous root, you know? That's the Lord's purpose. You know, it says, uh, read it again. Okay. It says, uh, for strong is the right hand that bendeth the bow, his arrows that he shooteth are sharp. Strong is the right hand that bendeth the bow. This is the Lord's bow that these heathens are shooting, man. When these heathens create these missiles, that is the Lord's weapon that he put the spirit on them to create. This is Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 9. For lo, I will rise up and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country. So these are the nations that the Lord's bringing forth America's indignation, man. All of these countries coming against America, it's all according to the Lord's work. The Lord said, I will rise up these nations. If it were not for the Lord, these nations wouldn't rise up, man, because it's all the Lord's purpose. It was written before it happened, you know, which is the... The, uh, the meaning of the word prophecy, right? you know? So this is a prophecy, man. To say before. To say before, you know? All of this is prophecy. It's not sporadic or, or what, a, what a, uh, 
these fucking people of the world say, man, a coincidence. There's no such thing, man, of coincidence. All right? Can you finish that? In second, I'm going to keep going this jam, right? Uh, kind of says, um, and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. And shall not miss when they begin to be shot to the ends of the world, man. And, and Joel, I, I get that. It said they shall not break their ranks. You know, these missiles, like all oh, these missiles, hey, man, these missiles have uh, GPS systems inside of them, man, built, in, built into them. And not even that, they still have the spirit of the Lord, man. So the Lord is literally going to guide these missiles on to hit their target, man. All right. Even if they wasn't built with all that that fancy, smancy, you know, all that uh, 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 technology, even if it was just a regular just missile, they just went straight. The Lord still guided the missiles to hit their target, man. That's why Lord uh, uh, said, "What well, He created the Smith Block. He created these missiles completely for, for His uh, uh, His desire, man." All right, so Lord Spear is going to be on the missiles to, to hit America the way he wants Literally. to hit, man. Yeah. One missile is going to hit Michigan because the Lord wants to hit Michigan. Another missile is going to hit Texas because the Lord wants to hit Texas, man. You know, <laughs> the Lord has right. his spirit on these missiles, and they're going to and they're going to destroy America in its uh, complete, utterly, and entirely, man. You know, because the Lord deemed it deemed it so. You know, just like the brother said, man. He said hey, the Lord, uh, 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 the Lord had a uh, basically before who could be against it, man. Exactly. Right. Hey, uh, can you start start the second edge over? I'm gonna just jump in and show it. Okay, this is second edge chapter 16, verse 13. It says, "For strong is strong is his strong, for strong is his right hand that bent up the bow." Strong is his right. Who's the Lord? Who's Yahweh's right hand? Yahweh Shai, man. Strong is his right hand that bent up the bow. All right. So Yahweh Shai is, is doing all this, is, uh, reaping these reaping these deaths, man. Kind. You know. Keep going. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp, and shall not miss. When they begin to be shot in the ends of the world. Let's get to that verse. Con, this is Joel. Uh, I'll get straight to it. Well, shit, I gotta start up. Joel 2 and 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is a land, for it is nigh at hand. It is near. Con, shall I want Verse 2, a day of darkness. Uh, Joel 2 and 1, blow ye the trumpet in Zion. And Which means warn the people. Warn the people, Khan. And sound an alarm in thine holy mountain. It says, let all the inhabitants of the land Triple. Yeah, let them triple, man. Cause this is it says it's, it's not the Lord, uh, not the day of the Lord. Darkness and not light. Sure. You know, is that for night? no darkness in it, man. You know, so let them triple, man. It says, hey, Scripture says in Amos, it says what? If a mighty roar, if a mighty lion roar, will the people not be afraid? You know, if if if, 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 if the Lord has spoken, who will put yet prophesy, man? So the people, you know, let be afraid, man. Hey, Scripture also says what? And, um, Isaiah says, uh, uh, if there be evil in the sea, if the Lord not done it. You know, so hey, the Lord. This is the Lord's. This is the Lord's day, man. The people's gonna triple. I got a precept for you. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter thirty-two, and let me start at thirty-nine. It says, "See now that I, even I, am He, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand." Amos chapter chapter five verse twenty. It says, "Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark, no brightness in it?" So it's gonna be a very dark and gloomy day, man. Figuratively, all right. It's gonna be a bit, and, and physically because these this electricity ain't gonna be running, man. At night it's gonna be pitch black. You know, only the only the light from the moon is gonna cast its light. It says. Uh, Verse 21. Oh no. I was looking for that. I was looking for that scripture. It says, uh, uh, uh have the Lord have not done it. It's nine. Uh, but no, I'm gonna go back to that Joel. I can't find it. I'll pull it up for you, bro. You got it? Uh, it says, uh, if uh, the evil be done in the city, have the Lord not done it? If the Lord not done it, come. Amos 3. 3. Oh, yeah, 3 and 6. Amos chapter 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? And there be evil in the city, and the Lord hath not done it? Basically, trumpet, because the trumpet is, is known for warning. 
right, right. Right. If you ever watch um, you ever watch Bugs Life on Disney Channel? If you ever watch Bugs Life on Dis uh, the, the Disney Channel movie, yeah. when them uh, bugs, when them, them top ants blew that horn, they would let them know that Hopper, uh, uh, that them grasshoppers was coming. Matter of fact, the main character flicked, he even dropped it and turned around and said, oh no, because he knew that trouble was coming. And everybody started scanning around trying to get everything done, you know, because they, they knew these grasshoppers were going to come and they had to have everything ready for them before they came, though, man. But what, at the, at the point the point I'm saying it is, you seen them ants that blew that, they blew the trouble, you know, to let to let the other ants know that, hey, the grasshopper's coming, put the food on the altar and so we can get up out of here, you know? I have something for you real quick to see it, though, right? Shit. This Joel chapter 2, verse 1. It said, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord cometh, for it is nigh at hand. And that's the time we're in right now, man. Alright? Y'all by Shimmy I was about to return, man. Alright, you see this government shut down. Okay. Hey man, uh brother posted in the, in the room, a woman got raped. Went looking for help and got raped again, man. Yeah. Hey, we in the time of heavy judgment right now, man. Okay? This is the wrong, hey, for the men who know the truth, man, we gotta be circumspect and be more in the spirit. That's right. Add more to the spirit and subtract from the world, all right? And for those that know this word and, and pussyfoot and bullshit, man, it's time to come out here and, and, and show yourself, man. Right. All right, because the door's is mercy about to close, man. All right, and that's the trouble we blowing, man. That's the sound we blowing, man. Prepare for war, man. God. Hey, cause it's, it's, it's about to happen, man. The famine, all right? And, that, and then I pray y'all about some y'all say, keep the government uh, set down, man. Right. Because right. within a month or two, that's one month, and take me to take the tech, man. Yeah, and man. keep that shit right. uh, cold down for more than a month, man. Hey, man, this, hey, Jake need to eat. Yeah. All right, they got car notes. All right, Jake just want to look fly, greedy, they all into this world. Jake going to go fucking haywire with this shit, man. Haywire. All right, but that's in the script. Matter of fact, you get a, uh, I know you have some more, but can you, uh, you want uh, uh second address 15? Uh -huh. That's the town oh, we in, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we got, hey, yeah, we in the time of prophecy, man. Everything the prophets been talking about, about to happen, man. Hey, everything the apostles been saying from the beginning about to happen. Like, we in that time, bro. Like that Acts the first chapter, is this the time you gonna restore your kingdom? We ain't going back to captivity after this, man. This the last go run, man. I got a scripture down, we get that up for get that for you. This is Habakkuk 2 and 3. Mm -hmm. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and shall and not lie. And it's speaking. Alright, they just had another rapper. You know our brothers been prophesying this for the longest, man, for years that they was gonna use those rappers to uh make the make the chip look cool, man. <laughs> yeah, we you had a guy with he got fucking auto-tune his damn uh uh uh, uh on, man. Yeah. No, 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 it's different guy. It's another it's another dude. He literally got like like a transforming arm thing come out of his forearms and shit like that. I'm like, what the fuck is that bunch of shit? Hey, and, and to these dumb, dumb motherfuckers, man. Alright, yeah, yeah. that shit look cool to them. Damn, nigga, I'm gonna get that. What is that called? Yeah, what is that called? Nah, it's the same. I don't know if you've ever seen uh, Star Wars when it was uh, uh, giving uh, Luke his arm after he got cut off and it, it had, yeah, basically like it opened up and it was basically touching and he was moving his hand. That's basically what it was. You know, it, it was like a little compartment that opened up, the shit was coming out of it and shit. It was just, it, it was wicked though, man. But, that, but it's speaking. Hey, the time and the tip. This is the year of the Karagma, man. The year of the mark. Yeah. Hey, man, the, the race rides, the, the public's been prophesying about, that's about to happen. Yeah. All right? The, the, uh, the famine, the, uh, the uh, all uh, uh, civil unrest. Yeah. People uh, running to your house for bread. All that's about to happen, man. And that's the trouble we blowing, man. Yeah. And you still got our people, man. You got average Jake out here. They still all to this world, man. I'm at work just talking about uh, simple shit about Trump. And you and people are like, they scared to talk about it, man. You know how Jake, they superstitious. Like, man, maybe if you don't speak about it, maybe they're just going in the room. We gonna talk it into existence. Nah, niggas, the problem is speaking into existence, man. Cause that's the Lord's plan, man. Yeah, it's uh, Book of Numbers chapter 10, verse eight. Cause brother said we at war, man. This is a, this is a commandment. It's Numbers 10 and eight. And the sons of Aaron and the priests shall blow with the trumpets, and they shall be to you for ordinance 
forever throughout your generations. It says, if ye go to war in your land against the enemy that oppresses you, then ye shall blow an alarm with the trumpets, and ye shall be redeemed before the Lord your God, and ye shall, are we not at war? And this is all spiritual, because back then in the ancient world, it was literal. You know, it was literal. We literally got a real trumpet and blew a trumpet, and that was the alarm, but now it's spiritual. We get, we're getting the words of the Lord, and we're speaking the words of the Lord on the highways and byways, and that's how we're going to sleep, going to trumpet, man. And that trumpet is an alarm alarming you, or to alert you that, hey, man, trouble is coming. Prepare. That's what we're saying, you know? It says that you will be remembered before the Lord your God, and ye shall be saved from your enemies. You know, and that's how we're going to be saved from our enemies, man, because the Lord is going to remember us based off us blowing this trumpet, man, doing this work. I got you. Okay, I got the better. That's answer. right, because doing this work is what? Hey, man, the more work you do, the more truth you push out, breaking bread with a brother, doing these videos, coming out here on the altar in the middle of Egypt, setting up these spiritual sacrifices. You sending them sacrifices up to the Lord, man. The angel right. taking your sacrifice to the Lord, man. Yeah. When you pray to the Lord, all that's being heard, man. Matter of fact, real quick, can you get up? So, no, uh, uh, Revelation 5 and 8 real quick. Revelation 5 and 8. So the importance of prayer, man. Hey, look at Tobit. Uh, hey, uh, hey, Revelation 5 and 8. I got it. Revelation Revelation 5, 5, and 8. 5 and 8. Okay, and Revelation 5 and 8. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts, and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, right. which are the prayer of the of saints. See, it's good. It's, you gotta pray, man. All right. Hey, the angels taking your, your message up to the Lord, man. And your Howard Shai is going in there as that priest within the veil and talking to the, the Most High about you, man. Yeah, yeah. All right, it's all spiritual, man, because we all priests now. After the order of Mount tell you that each brother is a priest now, man. We sacrifice, we give a sacrifice to, to, uh, to Yahweh Shah, and he's taking it into the Lord for us on our behalf, man. Right, right. All right, so it's important to keep doing this work, man, to God. pray, to keep sitting up the truth. It's a sweet savior to him, man. God. Uh, this is, this is uh, Book of Tobit, chapter 12, verse 15. I am Raphael one of the seven holy angels which present the prayers of the saints mm. and which go in and out before the glory of the Holy One. That's right. right. Matter of fact, uh, it's another thing that said this, the angels go uh, up and down uh, take, uh, uh, taking the complaints of the saints. Brother said, uh, <laughs> Brother said we're giving sacrifices. This God. is the modern day sacrifice, man. This is, right. this is uh, Sirach 35 and 1. He that keepeth the law bringeth offerings enough. He that taketh heed to the commandment offereth a peace offering. All right. He that requires a good turn offers flying uh, fine flour, mm -hmm. and he that giveth alms sacrifices praises. So doing righteous acts. Eh? And when you read uh, from the book of First Timothy, it says, "Depart from these things. Follow after meekness, <coughs> holiness, alms, charity, love." Well, you know, these are the things that's pleasing to the Lord now. These are the modern day sacrifices, you know. He that depart away from wickedness and turn into the, uh, the lost that the commandments of the Lord. Okay, this is James 5 and 16. Look at me. Yeah, I was just uh, 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 That's the second time. That's how I can bring it out. I'm going to read my Bible. I got to over here, bro. That's the spiritual that's, order, man. That's beautiful. Hey, but you know what? I just told him. People have never had a back. And I'm like, look, bro. But hey, it don't matter, man. That's what let you know, man. This thing going to go out regardless, man. All right? And that's the spiritual order, man. Because the scriptures say of one being revealed to another that the first hold his peace. And that's how that's how the music go, man. You might you might say something and a brother like, oh, I got some. You supposed to fall back and let that brother bring it out. Cause the Lord's gonna set whatever he bring out, it's gonna set you clean up. Yeah. Well, hey, you got you know? that one. You, you read the one that you have there, and I'll, I'll find what? the one you're talking uh, okay. about. Yeah, yeah you, you tell me no, I'm talking about the yeah, angels go up and down. Yeah, okay, yeah. Kind of. you, uh, you take the James 5 and 6. Okay, kind of, kind of, kind of. It's like, uh, I didn't that off there. Yeah. All right, this is James 5 and 16. 15, slip. <laughs> All right, it's James 5. Ready? Just type okay and just scroll down. Uh, 
Genesis 5 and 15. He said, the prayer 